Oh god. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, um, I'm a tunneling, time to tunnel, time to tunnel. No, 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 no. Oh god. Alright, let's tunnel. Time to tunnel. <laughs> step one step at a time one step at a time that's all we want oh whoa. whoa there's a whole nother area back here I was not ex what is all that down there is that water that looks like water hey hey I wasn't expecting that I was not expecting this area to continue I thought uh, the cavern that I had seen so far would be about it Apparently that is not the case. Interesting. Uh, oh, something can still get in there. Let's close that. And let's close that, actually. Hmm. I'm gonna leave that open for a second. I wanna come over here and light up this ledge. There's my first pickaxe. Wow, my inventory is chock full of crap. I wonder what's back here. Oh, I'm so interested now. Hmm. What are those? Mushrooms? Oh, God. Okay, <laughs> get back in your hole. Mushrooms! Wait. Those are the other. Those are the other color of mushrooms. Which means. I can make mushroom stew. I can make mushroom stew. <laughs> yes. All right. Um. Damn. I've explored a pretty. Let me. Okay. Let me get out of. <laughs> let me stop wasting uh, health here. Let me drop this. That's. Put some new armor on. So I need to light up down there, but first I need to light up what's around the edge. But more importantly, pretty soon I'm gonna have mushroom stew. Maybe I can get close enough and just... Urgh. Oh my god, where's my lava bucket when I really need you? There's, an, there's a ledge up there. Actually, there are more ledges. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Good job! Yes, fight each other. If I just run around back and forth enough, I think they will just start fighting each other. Yeah, keep missing me. Keep hitting each other. Oh, I can hit you. Can you hit me through there? Uh-oh. Can you get down there? Wow, look at all these exploded blocks and there's nothing down here. All right, no monsters is what I'm what I mean by that. Slow sand. Okay, I don't want to actually step down there because of that stuff. Let's see if I dig this out, I should be able to walk here. Yes. The other type of mushroom. Tell me I have inventory space. I do. Good. Oh, this is where I dropped that armor. And there's water here. Uh, keep an eye out. This is a, an ideal place for a creeper to blow up in your head and have no way to get out of here. Oh, yes. <laughs> Mushroom stew. All right, let's see if we can finish this place off. There's only a little bit of darkness darkness left this little area right here oh my god there are so many monsters in here though oh, oh so annoying look at 
One, two, three, four. I have two stacks of arrows. Four creepers right there. Zombie beneath me. Come on. Don't don't go down there. Come up here. Or just blow stuff up. It's good. Okay. Push forward. Place blocks. Run away! <laughs> oh god. Two creepers. Two skeletons, two zombies. No biggie. Two, three, four, five. One. Come on a little closer, buddy. Two, three, four, five. And then you guys are basically trapped there. Oh, I may need the tunnel to finish this cave. So mobs, whether they can see you or not, tend to walk towards you. I think at this point I'm below the floor. I think this is the bottom of that floor. Oh, let's put a glowstone block right there. Apparently that wasn't the bottom. Glowstone block right there, and then after a while I'm going to uh, make put another one. But mobs tend to walk towards you, so they're all walking towards me right now. They're all right above my head, more or less. So if you do that, for instance, they're unlikely to fall in there unless they're over there and walking towards you. So you can do something like that, or like I just did. Replace a block in the ceiling with a different material. And, yeah, I, was, I sort of thought I might have gone far enough to be... Above the floor limits. I wonder, was that the... Oh, okay, that was a worthless placement. Okay, that, there we go. So, basically what I'm doing is I'm replacing the floor as fast as possible with glowstone. I see um, air in any fashion whatsoever. Oh god! Oh my god! Oh, that was a big fail. Did you see how my like methodical I was sounding in my approach? Like, oh, this is completely scientific and foolproof. And then kaboom! Okay, I still have a ceiling there. Hi guys. Oh god, um, okay, glowstone blocks, closest block I have. Okay, whatever, let's just put, I have so much glowstone anyway, it doesn't matter. There, let's just plug all these holes, that's enough glowstone. Okay, I think I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to retreat to the surface to see if I've made any kind of progress whatsoever after that catastrophe. God, that was terrible. I was being fairly methodical, I guess, and then all hell kind of break broke loose. Um, okay, so the darkness is less. That's for sure. There's only this little ridge left of monsters, but look at how many monsters there are. And even way back here, where it looks sort of lit, there's monsters all along that ledge. Ugh. There was a treasure chest... There's a, there's a, there was a second treasure chest. Okay, it's still there. It's right there. I can still see it. But this area is still heavily populated. Maybe because I haven't killed anything, but I think it's still... I'm still going to be in max spawn for a while. Oh my god, they do look definitely less dense. I think I've limited the amount of space in which they can spawn at, which is amazing. Finally, some progress. 
you suppose it's the same set of zombies getting and uh, skeletons getting reanimated over and over again? You suppose it's not like unique skeletons each time, but it's the same ones over and over, and they're like, God, not again! That goddamn zombie pigman just killed me again! And then they get reanimated for the nth time and sent off to get slaughtered by me. That must suck, now that I think about it. Okay, run. Hopefully they don't fight each other. I basically, I want to run far enough so that I can separate them because they all, they all move at different speeds and they negotiate the terrain at different speeds. And if I do it like this, I can sort of separate them to a certain extent. And this is a little flaw here because spiders can get through there. Hi, spider. Oh, I just heard another one. Where are you? Um, there's definitely a... Okay, there they are down there. I'm not worried about the creepers. There's a skeleton down there. That's my main concern. And look, there's only one, two, three, four, five. I can count five um, off the top of my head right now. Or just in the moment. I, I counted five monsters down there. Yeah, you don't even get to land, bitch. I'm just going to kite you with my arrows. All right. Last push. Well, this whole thing is the last push, but um, there's only a few animals, animals, <laughs> only a few monsters back there now. I'm just gonna like the hell out of this edge because, uh, God, I'm I'm so paranoid right now. But I'm I'm at the final the final bit, this little bit, and I guess there's a little darkness right there, but it's not a big deal. I've officially limited the amount of space that uh, monsters can spawn in. I'm gonna fight you guys with my sword. Don't blow up! Please! <laughs> oh god. Okay, get in. Oh, there's one more. Two, three, four. And light this stuff up! Yes! <laughs> this was much more difficult than it needed to be. Yeah, fall in the lava, idiot. I was trying to get a torch down here. Oh, I'm so glad that this area has been lit up. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put a retarded amount of torches and glowstone down here just to keep that from ever happening again. Because there's there's no other darkness within a long distance up here. So if anything is gonna spawn, it's gonna spawn in these little tiny pockets of darkness. Uh, so what I'm gonna do next is transport the stuff from these boxes back to my storage stack And then after that I'm gonna start constructing the mob trap the drowning trap Okay, so here's the spawners all eight of them still in commission So uh, there's the water and I only have the three blocks of water to work with So I think what I'm gonna end up doing is uh, filling in the rest of the walls Actually, I can fill in that space. I'm gonna fill in the rest of the walls so that the three water tiles um, go this way. So I need to rebuild some of this. Okay, let's build this for real. Um, so I have an access hatch. And let's see, I wanna have a torch right at the very, um, right at the very limit of, uh, close to the door is what I'm trying to say. And basically what I'm doing is I'm opening the door, dig this block out, destroying the torch and the block. And uh, then close the door real quick. And then once I get to the bottom, I'm going to have to dig my way away out of here. And then build a staircase back up. Let's put a torch down. It's a little dark. So when I dig these spots out, the, uh, the water should flow right down there. So there's a torch right here. I'm not worried about all these blocks because if this works right, I should I should get those torches back. But torches aren't exactly a valuable commodity at this point. Oh, getting dark. So once I remove 
that torch, it should be dark enough in here for stuff to spawn. And you hear them? Skeletons immediately. Thank God they can't open doors, and they're already... Ugh, well. I'm glad that design worked. <laughs> so let's see, there's the spawners up there. I should be far enough away that nothing can spawn in here, but one way or the other doesn't matter because uh, it's too bright in here for stuff to spawn. There we go. Now we have to wait for them to drown. And let's see, I guess I'm going to do something like that. Let's see what this does. Nothing. Is this going to spread? It is. Damn. That's unfortunate. I didn't want it to happen like that. And their blocks are not going to be pushed. See how they're sticking right there? Okay, so I'm going to have to modify this. I expected this to happen. Actually, I expected to have to... Oh, whoops. I <laughs> forgot to... Um... You guys are not falling down there fast enough. Yeah, whatever. It's fast enough. Okay, so I think I'm going to have to um, edit this a little bit. Oh, <laughs> low bridge. Or no bridge. There's nothing underneath. Everything should flow to me. I should be able to pick it up without ever being attacked. Hmm. So I'm not picking up all of it. Uh, totally flawlessly. Let me... Actually, for the time being, let me block that. This is working pretty good so far. It's just going to take a little trial, trial and error to uh, get it working flawlessly. Okay, flow in there. Oh! Oh, perfect. Oh, awesome. Is that gonna... Yes! That's what I wanted. That is exactly what I wanted to happen. Um, let's see. Is stuff gonna get... If I do... Let's see if I do this. Trial and error! Always trial and error. I think this is gonna work. As is. So I'm gonna sit here for a minute and... I'm gonna see if anything gets stuck on these little corners here. But I think this is gonna work. Look at all these monsters falling down here. This is awesome! And this is much better than my other trap, uh, mob trap, because the other one I had to periodically uh, go to the bottom of the trap to pick stuff up and go back to the top. And you can't just hang out at the bottom because you're too far away for the mob spawners to be active. So you constantly have to go back and forth. In this instance, I can basically come here with a mostly empty inventory go AFK for a pretty good period of time, come back and have an inventory filled with only useful stuff. Um, arrows, which I, I've been using a lot of and I need more of. Uh, Gunpowder for TNT and bones for growing stuff. Uh, but see, look, stuff is still getting stuck here, so this is not good. All right, so I'm gonna watch this for a while. I'm gonna let stuff die and see if stuff is still getting caught. It's getting carried there. Carried there. Uh, okay, let's fill this back up. What if I just stand here? Am I close enough to catch that stuff? Alright, let's try it from here. If I had water buckets, I could be much more precise with the way the water is flowing. I could make this mob trap wider um, so that more mobs could fit in this pit and um, could drown at once. But I don't really have that option at this time. Oh, here come some items. And look, I'm still too far away. Let's stay in here. See if this helps. Here comes something down the side. Where'd it go? Did I pick it up? Here come some items. More items. Yeah, drowned to death, son of a bitch! I think this one is working. I think nothing is... Uh, I think I'm close enough that the stuff is passing by me close enough that I'm picking it up automatically.
comes an arrow. Yeah, see that? I picked it up. You see it coming towards me, and that skull. Okay, so I think this design works. You just have to stand in that little spot. Um, okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to actually remove some of these walls and replace them with glass to make this area a little more scenic. It's a little claustrophobic. I've got this... Whoa, what happened here? Oh, I must have dropped water down there. Oh, all that lava. Damn it, that's so sad. <laughs> I hate... I hate it when I destroy lava by accident. All right, so... So here we are, perfectly functioning drowning trap. I can go AFK with uh, no threat to myself whatsoever. Get uh, gunpowder, arrows, and bone meal, or bones rather, in extreme quantities. So expect a lot more TNT in the future of this map, especially with the West Commons having so much sand at my disposal. And up next, we'll be exploring the West Commons, which is a gigantic area, and I'm probably going to be there a while. Probably going to build some rail lines and stuff. So, um, actually, I'm going to go empty my inventory, but I am going to sit here for a while. I'm going to come back, go AFK for a while, and farm some materials. I'm getting a little low on arrows. And if you're playing through this map, I highly suggest you do something just like this here for raw, raw resources. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. See you later. Take it easy. Have a good day. Die, bitches. Die. And if you get bored, you can always, like, bash their ankles. <laughs>